You suck at cooking, yeah, you totally suck. Today we're making guacamole. guacamole. We're gonna use avocado, white onion, tomato, lime, cilantro, salt, that's it. No hot banana pepper rings. No, no bullpucky. We're gonna use three of these muddy truckers. We'll take the first one and just crack that open. Then we'll slice that apart and then hold the nail against your cutting board to pop out the pit. Another way to open an avocado is to give it a good roll, then strip off that snake skin. Then use a standard size avocado depitulator, which in one fell swoop, which in one slick flick, which in one swift motion can effortlessly depitulate almost anything. And then another way to approach this is to use the power of gravity. And then you just wanna, oh, I got one of those GMO avocados that has the cilantro built inside it. If you don't like cilantro, you're a friggin' human who is born with the genetic variant known as a single nucleotide polymorphism, which makes it taste like soap. You're not fussy, you're just unlucky. Now make a pitch kebab and roast it over a piping hot stove element. Now let's get that fatty guac into the bowl and we'll take a lime. We'll squeeze a couple wedges onto that, then use a four-pronged spoon to smash it all up. I'll add in a half teaspoon of salt, which we'll adjust later. Now let's chop that cilantro. Herbs, also known as herbs, are often more easily chopped by scrunching them into a ball first. But this is messing with my claw grip, so I'm gonna do this the old-fashioned way by asking my mom to do it for me. Mom, I'm busy! Fine! Then we'll take some white onion, choppity flap and chop. You can also throw that on auto chop. This doesn't work well if your knife isn't haunted. I'll throw most of that in, but we'll see how much it needs later. Then we'll take a tomato and we'll deseed it so the guac doesn't get soupy and chop it somewhat finely because I don't like big chunks. But you can put the tomato in whole for all I care. Now, along with the lime, you've got two hits of acid, which will make this taste more expansive. Now, these things will put hair on your chest, especially if you dip them in glue, then dip them in hair, then wipe them on your chest. You can go with just a dash if you want, but if you want more, the spoon is your friend here to deseed it. Then chop it to your preferred level of microscopic heat burst. Some people like to use the jalapeno egg nest, but not me. Eggs are for chickens or come from them or whatever. Then we'll take exactly one cup of raisins and pour that into your roommate's pillowcase. Now we'll just wang jangle that together until it's been thoroughly wang janged. If you wanna speed things up a bit, grab a set of wang chucks and you can do this at twice the speed in half the time with twice as much awkwardness and half the space. Now we'll just taste and adjust. I'm gonna throw in another quarter teaspoon of salt here, bringing it up to three quarters of a teaspoon total. And I'm not even detecting the presence of onions, so that's gonna go in. Now we'll just taste it again and... Good! If you bring this to a party and people try it, I swear to God, they'll take one bite and say, that could use more lime, or I would have used lemon, or this isn't actually authentic. I like bigger chunks. I would have made it a little less green. Did you forget to put yogurt in this? in a bowl? My no secret thanks. ingredient is pomegranate Is this from Costco? My Aunt Kathy Where's makes the hot banana one? pepper rings. I don't taste the worst. I'm having sure some so. cheese My Uncle Rick makes a guac that will blow your really freaking mind. really needs raisins.